There's a family of three living in the suburbs of Brampton. Brampton is a city in the Canadian province of Ontario and is a suburban city in the greater Toronto area. They lived in an older house in Brimley. This is one of the older neighborhoods in Brampton, as well as one of the largest. It spans between Highway Fortson, Beaufort Drive, Airport Road, and Steeles Avenue. The city was once known as the Flower Town of Canada because of its large greenhouse industry. There are such beautiful flowers. The house is nice, but again, very old. There's a mom, Sharon, a dad, Henry, and a son, nine years old, Sylvester. Sitting at the dinner table one evening, Dad and Mom told Sylvester that he would be getting a surprise. That surprise happened to be a date to the movies the next day. Sylvester was super excited about this. His dad told him to be dressed and ready to go. Him and his mom would usually return from work around 5 in the evening. The plan is to eat dinner at home and be seated in the movies by 7 p.m. A movie Sylvester has been dying to see. It's in the 1970s, and going to the movies for them is extremely rare. After dinner, Sharon and Henry tucked Sylvester into bed, read his favorite bedtime story, and left his room after saying goodnight. Sylvester wakes up bright and early the next morning, excited about the day, and the events planned for the evening. The house is extremely quiet, however which is abnormal since his parents normally are moving around preparing for work. Sylvester got out of his bed and called out, Mom? Dad? Where are you guys? Mom? Dad? There was no response. The house is eerily still and completely quiet, save for the sound of Sylvester's feet. As he looks through the house looking for his parents, he is looking in their bedroom, the kitchen, bathroom, and now the living room. As he walks into the living room, he notices that the record player is not on. Sharon puts on her favorite music first thing in the morning as she makes coffee. He didn't smell coffee, and there was no record playing. He kept calling out for his parents, but he got no reply. They were nowhere to be found. Sylvester began to panic. All of a sudden, he turns around in the living room and sees a huge man, dressed in black. The man told Sylvester not to be afraid, and that he is a detective with the Brampton PD. Sylvester was puzzled. He was in a state of confusion and asked where his parents were. The detective told him. That's what he's here to figure out. The detective asked Sylvester. When was the last time he'd seen his parents? Sylvester stated that he has last seen his parents the night before, when they tucked him into bed and read him a bedtime story. The detective looked bamboozled. Okay, kid. I'm gonna have to ask you to come down to the station with me. I have a few questions to ask you. Sylvester sits in the interrogation room as the detective asks a ton of questions. Then, all of a sudden, the detective said, Sir, your parents have been missing for ten years. Sylvester said, That can't be possible. I saw them last night when they tucked me in. They told me that we were going to the movies today. What have you done with my parents? The detective asked Sylvester how old he is. And Sylvester said that he's nine years old. The detective sadly pulled out a mirror and handed it to him 
and Sylvester was shocked to see that he was a grown man with a beard.